Caddis Maximus here. Probably have too many wrenches on the table, but this is just to dispel uh, comments, even forum posts, where people seem to think that I love my rigid pipe wrench because it has, it is forged. And all modern pipe wrenches have cast ductile iron handles. It's just the jaws that are actually forged. And I think part of the reason that there has been this confusion is older pipe wrenches, like Stilson's, this happens to be a, a huge 36 inch, did indeed have forged handles because the jaw was integrated into the handle. The Stilson's still, I think the handles are actually a little bit stronger than modern pipe wrenches, but this whole carriage piece is notorious for breaking out the rivet. I've seen tons of them that have failed right there. I have some, a couple other Stilson's. I have a much older Stilson and a newer Stilson. You know the older ones because they just have this kind of logo on them. Anyway, this one's really nicely finished, but you can see the thick forging line. Same thing here, the really wide forging flashing. Once again, because they were the jaws were forged as one piece, part of the handle. So a lot of people just started thinking, oh, pie wrenches are all forged. It's not baloney. Rigid advertises it right on their website. You know, if we take a look at the Fuller, I believe the Fullers were the second most popular pipe wrenches. I found more of them. Um, it's like Fullers or Rigids are a majority of the pipe wrenches that I run into. And it's just plainly obvious. There's just a thin line. It's just cast. They just forge the jaws, makes them a little te cheaper. But this whole one-piece design in the handle still ends up being stronger. Same thing. This is a big 24-inch. When you have big castings, sometimes you do have a uh, flashing line, a seam line, that ends up a little bit wider, or there's a slight offset between the two molds, and so when they grind it off, it may generate the impression that it's forged, but they're definitely not forged. We have a much older rigid. You know you have an older rigid because it says trademark on it and it still has the patent number on it, and this one... You could really be fooled because you see like that big wide area you think well that must be forged just like the jaw is but no this is just happens to be you can see evidence right here where of the thin flashing line where they just ground it down because of that um that flashing line they just ground it and since it has a slight curvature it ends up with the effect that looks like it may be forged you know if we take a look at some of these others i'm trying to collect all the sizes some of them are really obvious. You can see the thin casting line there on that 12 inch. This is the rigid spud wrench. This you can plainly see the thin casting line. Let me get these out of the way here. And the biggest confusion would be on these larger ones because they would have wider casting lines or bigger offsets where they have to grind them more. So on this big, and this is a huge 36 inch rigid, I was pretty fortunate to pick this up for the price that I did but nonetheless it you can kind of just see the wide flashing maybe if we take a look at the this thing's heavy uh, the handle here it really kind of gives the impression that it is forged but indeed it's not and Bridget's clearly says right on their website that is a cast ductile iron handle and it just happens to be the finish and grinding work to remove that little seam, this kind of gives the effect that the handles are forged. And once again, they're not. So I just wanted to make a video kind of talking about it and dispelling that myth.